Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold with Second Swing Golf here at the Tour Van at the Minnetonka Store, joined by Bella McCauley for a head-to-head -head iron comparison, new models in 2024. So um, we've got TaylorMade and their new game improvement iron, the QI, and we have Callaway's new game improvement iron, the Paradigm AI Smoke. Um, so, you know, first of all, Bella, I'll let you kind of hold on to those okay. and look at those and kind of give me your first impressions on what you see out of them. Mm -hmm. So in comparison to your P790s, they're probably going to be a little bit larger club head and probably yeah. uh, a little thicker as well. So you'll probably notice that right away. But uh, I guess what else do you maybe see just first off the bat looking at those clubs? Yeah, exactly. Actually, that was one of the first things I noticed. And especially the tailor made, it seems to be a little bit of a mm -hmm. bigger head. But often that means they're a little more forgiving too. So that could be really good, mm -hmm. great for some players. I think it'll be really they're I think they're probably pretty comparable yeah. iron, so it'll be fun to see how they match up and um, them being pretty similar in terms of just size and um, what they're supposed to do. So it'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. There's going to be a lot of weighting on the perimeter there, so mm -hmm. a lot of stability on those miss hits. Um, also, they're both designed to go you know pretty fast, a lot of explosiveness. So yep. um, we can talk a little bit more about the tech throughout the hitting. But what we're going to do today, we're going to have you hit eight shots with each, and we've matched up closely matched up the shafts with kind of what you're playing in your P790s, that steel fiber. Um, so I think uh, without, without further ado, we can kind of get going to the shots here. Um, we've already done some more testing already today. So um, I think these are gonna be really popular irons. And I think I'm excited yeah. to see what happens here in the testing. So you ready to do it? Yeah, perfect, let's do it. Oh, first swing, that's some ball speed. Oof, duh. Look at that. So holy smokes. <laughs> we were we were chatting about this before the hitting the record button, but um, what you know, typical distance for your gamer seven iron. Yeah, so for my gamer, the Taylor made P790s, I typically carried about 145 okay. yards ish. And max it'll go like 150, 155. So it's like it's I feel like it's a pretty good distance. It's yeah. definitely a good middle ground between like a good distance, but then also having enough spin where on tough courses, you know, I can get over that bunker and stop it pretty quick. Yeah. Whereas something like this, you know, it definitely has that distance. For me personally, it probably wouldn't be the best club. Having that 14 yard gap between carry and right, total yeah. is so for, not yeah. something that I need, but it definitely is going quite a bit further. Yeah, and that's a, uh, that's a, those are really good points. That sounds like someone who's in tune with their club fitting. So that one's a little bit better than for, I guess, your, yeah, and what you're looking for. And that's a little bit more like accurate. That also went a little right, but. That one might be a little far and left. Yeah, because the other thing to think about here too is these irons are also um, stronger lofted than yours. Yep. So they're both 28 degrees on seven iron, which is pretty strong. See, that's I mean, that's a really good golf shot. Yeah. It's, uh, that high draw you like to play, you know? Yeah. No, it's. I think it's. It feels really, really good off the face. I'm not gonna lie, like. I love the look of it too. I really do love this iron. Yeah. I just think you would probably go like if you were gonna play these hypothetically, you'd definitely go weaker lofts for your for you. Yeah. Yeah. Just to make sure that you know, because you don't, you're not trying to hit the ball further. You just need it to go a certain distance. It's another really good strike and good swing. Yeah. Do we have eight there? That's what I was about to check. We have six. Six. Oh, we not quite there. So, but I, it's, I'm very curious now because both of the irons are the same loft. So I think it'll be a fun test to look at. Ooh, that's some extra ball speed there. Wow. Yeah. I, I think one like thing I, I probably can say, I, is another thing to note here is just the difference in like total, the totals, depending on how I hit it, like, if I feel like I hit it a little bit too much of a draw, it really jumps off the face. Yeah. Definitely get a lot of a distance. Um, okay. So you're kind of seeing like your, for you in this right now, you're seeing like your kind of ones that you hit really, like really well are kind of going a little, like much further than the yeah, others. Yeah. Yeah. Some distance disparity, so to speak. Yeah. 
I mean, I feel like it's such a good club. Like that felt so good. Yeah. Just the the difference in carries, depending yeah, on how I hit it, it's a little bit with, much. Yeah. So this is. I mean, that's total. We'll go to carry, but you can see. You've got this bunch up here, which looks yeah. really, really nice. And that's actually, you know, we only have, the, we have I think I know which two we're going to remove, right? Yeah. Probably go these two. For um, sure. So we'll go here. And then here was the other one. And so, I mean, there's our kind of dispersion, right? We have a, that's a pretty darn good dispersion. Yeah. Um, all right. So first of all, the kind of look and feel there. I know you're mm -hmm. used to playing P790s. Is that larger than the p790s or is it about the same size so right like based off this it seems a little bit larger okay. but looking down at the ball it actually looks a little bit smaller so really? it has a really good look in my opinion okay. i love the feel of it it felt really smooth off the face yeah like i said the biggest thing i didn't love about it was just like how spotty it was in terms of carries yeah. and like if i really hit it well it went super far and if i didn't hit mm -hmm. it well it kind of went too yeah. short. So these, this, I think you're referring to maybe this number here. Yeah. This is the one we, we did take it out um, that you kind of, your carry distance dropped to 147. Yeah. And then the total distance too, you were at, you know, you went from 157, your good ones were up to 172. Yep. Um, I will say though, when you did hit the ball well, when I hit it the well, numbers it were pretty, pretty consistent For sure. overall. You know, you had it in the mid 150s for carry up to 159. Yeah. And then the total was a little, kind of around 170. So. Um, there's just that one miss hit that I guess is, you know, maybe, uh, uh, something to consider. I suppose. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I think, you know, they are pretty consistent for the most part. And I think a really good club, it just kind of just weighing the different carries yeah. and totals and how far it's going. Um, if that's for your bag, if it's not, if you're trying to gain some distance, maybe this club could be perfect for you. So yeah. Yeah. But overall the feel felt amazing. Yeah. So I, I think when I'm looking forward to seeing here, I, now this, you can, Correct me if I'm wrong, but just by looking from the naked eye from my perspective, yeah. I think the QI is going to be a bit bigger. Yeah, it does um, look a little bit bigger. And so I'll have you confirm that here while I set up the, uh, the track man awesome. for the QI. But I, yeah, that's definitely, I, I think it's bigger, right? Yeah, this one definitely feels, looks bigger and also does that address as well. Um, a lot more. Okay. Yeah. So with that, heavier. I would think that we'd get we should get a little bit more maybe some more distance but certainly like a more consistent kind of dispersion you shouldn't you know in terms of left to right dispersion but also you might get more difference in those distances that yeah might be yeah i'm curious also to see the spin on these compared to the others The first one there spun I, a lot more. Yeah, that one I didn't hit like. Okay, was that a little low face maybe? It just, okay. yeah, wasn't as quite. Yeah. Yep, that's a little closer to the numbers we were just looking at. Didn't hit that one too great either. Yeah, it kind of, I think those first, the first shot and that shot were kind of the same almost. Yep. Yep. Very similar when I've hit it good. Okay. Or, or just in num yeah, carry right. total. Yeah, right. The the yep, carry total distance. Do you notice a difference in the feel with the Q, this TaylorMade versus the yeah. last one? Yeah. It just feels a little bit clunkier, if that's like the word. Okay. Yeah. Um, a little thicker, and I also just think. Maybe not quite as, maybe because of that reason, it doesn't feel as smooth off the face. Yeah. Um, that's, I feel like that's, that feedback's probably, would be pretty common if you got a lot of, you know, a lot of avid golfers in here that might be getting fit, they'd probably have the same feedback. Like that one I've hit a little thin too, but I will say one thing that's nice about this is because it is a little bit thicker, Often that means it's a little more forgiving. So even the ones I've missed haven't been too bad. Yeah, I mean they're all they're dead all straight. straight, you know. Yeah. That one was really good. Yeah, that sounded really good. See, I I think what I'm seeing, and this might be, I guess it could be disproven here, but I think this one spins a little bit more on average. 
Yeah, I, I'm also just, yeah, I'm noticing that in the carry in total, like a little closer together. Yeah. Yep. Mostly pretty good shots. I do like that it's it's very consistent mm -hmm. in terms of here. Okay, there is how straight so. it is. Yeah, so I think there was, you know, you, there's maybe a couple with the QI that you didn't uh, catch completely perfect yep, here. Yep. Maybe these two we can kind of pull out here. Um, so we still have, you know, a couple down here yet. But with that said, we can still kind of... For sure the Callaway for me. Yeah, in terms of getting, <laughs> your, getting your distance, right? Um, what, I'm, what I do notice, though, that's actually very interesting to me. So we've got our QI. We can kind of go through these numbers here as we do. Um, here's the averages of sort of the best six of eight that we saw up there. Um, the spin is what really jumps out to me. Mm -hmm, uh, me much too. higher spin. I also even wanted to just for fun take out this one, which is sort of that last one that's kind of lower, like down here. Yep. You know, just because that's kind of, you know, I know our rule was six of eight, but, you know, this kind of makes it a little bit sort of here are the five comparable. shots you hit well. But that spin is still higher yep. comfortably. So I think they're, I'm going to jump to the conclusion that the QI irons spin more yeah. than the Paradigm ones. Um, Which is interesting. I actually thought it was maybe going to be the opposite. I did too. But I did too. Yeah. Um, what else do you see up here, Bella, that kind of maybe jumps out at you just from you know your perspective, um, maybe what you're looking for out of an iron? Or I guess the other thing I should point out with the spin. It spins more, but also it was a little bit more erratic with the spin. So that deviation number is wider. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little more consistent with the paradigm. And that just kind of shows in this version as well. Yeah, I think one thing to just notice was definitely a difference in like total as well. Um, you know, I, I think when it comes to irons, you obviously want to hit it far, but the most important thing is hitting the green and, yeah. and stay, keeping it on the green, having good spin and stuff. So kind of just keeping that in mind when picking out a, uh, an iron is just noticing, you know, a five yard difference is, is fairly considerable and just having a better gap between like your eight yeah. and six rather than just needing the max amount of distance. Cause that's ultimately what you want is just to have a good um, gap between yeah. the clubs. And so that's just something that I noticed that I would point out um, for me, the Callaway seemed to yeah. feel a little bit better. It seemed a little bit smoother off the face, but this was also like pretty consistent. I mean, my messes were all pretty straight. So I yeah. did like that about the, about the ping. Yeah. I think, um, the, or the tailor made, excuse me. Yeah. I mean, I think the, the big difference is going to be for me. I, I, I guess we'll see, we'll do some more testing here as the year goes on here at second swing, but I, I it did surprise me the difference in spin between the two, yeah, being that they are too. the same loft. Um, typically clubs will spin relatively similar with the same club tester yep. um, if they have the same loft. But this was different enough where I think there's maybe something more to it. There yeah. might be some more spin there on the QI. So the golfers out there that are, you know, thinking about trading in their irons and getting something new this year, um, they're going to see this and maybe think, well, if I need more spin, mm -hmm. maybe QI, or maybe they spin the ball a ton already and they want to drop that down. Exactly. Something to think about. The paradigm sure. AI smoke. And again, that dispersion is phenomenal too. I mean, you were hitting <laughs> that nice little draw at the same spot every time here. So thank you. Um, two really good irons though, I think. I think um, I think they're gonna be both big winners. Callaway and TaylorMade, they always, you know, deliver um, when they uh, provide their new products for the year, and this mm -hmm. is no different. So yeah. Uh, yeah, these are really good. Bella, thanks for hitting all the shots here, providing some information, golfers. Um, if you're gonna get some new irons this year. Two really good options, the TaylorMade QI and the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke, as Bella showed us today. Both have a ton of benefits. So, Bella, thank you again for joining today, hitting the shots. Um, really good stuff. Yeah, it was, both are great options. I was, it was fun to be a part of it.